is ashish this side so in this video i'm going to tell you about everything that you need to know about gre exam so what we are going to cover in this video is we'll talk about the exam we'll talk about impact important facts that you need to know we'll talk about the exam pattern and we will talk about the eligibility criteria for gre exam so first that is about gre exam the graduate record examination which is known as gre is a standardized test that is required to be taken by students seeking admission to graduate school in us or other countries so we, the top countries that you are targeting you need to give gre now for what you need to give gre is what we'll ta talk about the exam has been developed to evaluate the verbal analytical and mathematical skills of the candidates gre is a computer based test and has a user friendly design prospective graduate and business school applicants from all around the world who are interested in pursuing masters mba specialized masters program in business or doctoral degree take the gre so mostly for ms and then mba then specialized masters courses then you have doctoral degree for all these kind of uh, courses you need gre exam the general test gre is computer based examination in which you have no negative marking aw section is subjective and always the first the order of the rest can be either aw then q1 v1 q2 v2 q3 or aw v1 q1 v2 q2 or v3 these are this is the kind of order that can be of the exam so we'll talk about the exam pattern in a while now the unscored section will not be declared explicitly and can appear in any order after analytical writing section it can be any of the verbal or quant sections and it would not be counted towards the test taker's main score but since the test taker will not be aware which section is the dummy each section should be approached with the thought that it will count towards the score gre is a sectional adapted test now total gre score is out of 340 aw section is scored separately on a scale of 0 to 6 the total duration for the test will be about 3 hours and 45 minutes the scores are made available immediately after the exam is over however the grades of analytical writing will be available only after a weeks period that is approximate at the end of the test one can send the score to four universities for free so after the test you can send the score to your target university up to four universities now let's see the exam pattern so this is sections parts and number of questions duration and total score so first we'll see analytical writing in this you have two task task 1 is analyze an issue task 2 analyze an argument for task 1 you have 30 minutes for task 2 you have 30 minutes the total score is on the 0 to 6 then you have quantitative reasoning two sections 20 sec questions in each section 35 minutes on each section 170 is the score then you have verbal reasoning two sections 20 questions in each section 30 minutes on each section and 170 is the score and then you have a unscored section which does not count towards a score it varies and there is no score for that now next is eligibility for this so there are no specific eligibility criteria for gre any one can register for this exam irrespective of age or qualifications the only thing you need to keep in mind is the fact that you will be required to produce your original passport now this is very important for you you will be required to produce your original passport as the proof of identity at the exam center so make sure that you have a valid passport before you register for gre so this is important that you must have a passport before you register for gre exam okay now let's talk about some important facts the application fee for gre general test is 205 dollars worldwide 
which would roughly translate into 30,500 to 14,500 approximately. GRE can be taken on any of the 365 days, that means every day it is available. GRE scores are valid for 5 years and scores are available immediately after the test. GRE can be taken more than once and the best score can be sent for consideration. GRE is conducted at specific, specified test centers in selected cities. So that of course when you are applying for the exam, when you are filling the, the exam, then you will find out the centers and everything else. So with that we have come to end the GRE uh, section. Now this channel has content for every exam, be it TOEFL, be it IELTS, GRE, GMAT, SAT. So you can check these videos as well. Apart from that, I understand that you may have certain queries. So we have put in the details in description on how you can contact us. Please like this video, comment, share with your friends. If you have not subscribed yet, then please do subscribe. Apart from that, if you are targeting any specific country, then we have videos on, in fact, video series on Australia, Ireland, Germany, Netherlands, UK, France, US, New Zealand, Canada and a lot of top other countries which students do go or target. Apart from that also countries also this channel has a lot of content on various universities, courses, countries and a lot more. So you can explore that as well. I'll see you soon in the other video. Till then stay connected.